guys and welcome back what I'm going to be doing this week is I'm going to finish boarding out this wall here which is the driver's side which is going to be the bed area just behind the shower here and then I'm going to start building the inserts for my frame for the window yeah and I'm going to be doing that on both sides so let's go ahead and continue with that guys that's the outer wall done for the shower on the bedside so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some four-way stretch carpet on that just to see what it looks like because then if I don't like it I can always rip it off and start again so I'm just going to go ahead now and get on with that Free. 
So guys, I've just put some of that four-way stretch carpet up on one of the shower walls, the outside wall, around where the bed area is going to be, just to, as an experiment to see what it's going to be like. Uh, I'm very impressed with it. I think I'm going to go ahead and use that around the bed area. So let me go ahead and show you what it looks like. And there you go, guys. All I've done is just put it on one of the shower walls at the moment. So I'm now going to go ahead and board this side out and do the framework for this window. And then I'm going to carpet all that as well. And also on the other side as well. I'm just going to do the framework and carpet that. So let's go ahead and carry on with that. Okay, guys, this side is semi lined now. So top there is where my cupboard's going to go. So I haven't lined up there. Uh, I've just got to put some board in here around the edges yeah so then that's all nicely done then uh, these wires here are going to be for my LED lights that are going to go at the top here and on top of the well yeah just at the top here I think uh, cupboards are going up here yeah this is where the this is just a bit of wood I've put there to mark out where the end of the bed's going to be in line with this wall here which is the end of the shower uh, I've got to do this side next so that's the wall I'm going to get on with next so I'll catch you in a bit guys that's boarded out ready obviously I'm not doing the top bit because that's where my false walls go in for my uh, cabinets um, so all I've got to do now down here is do my will arch box so I'm just going to go ahead and do that now okay guys that's all now boarded out as you can see will arch done all the walls boarded apart from the top up there like I said for the cabinets are going so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fit the four-way stretch carpet on this so I'm just going to go ahead and do that now and then I'll show you what it looks like after okay guys so I've just been doing that four-way stretch carpet at the back round by the bed area and round by the windows I've just hit a small snag I've run out so I am expecting a delivery of some more today so let me just go ahead and show you what I've done so far There you go guys, around the window, I've just got to do inside that window there and then get that boxed in. I've done around there, the shower wall, the outside shower wall, wheel arch is done, sorry about the sun on that. Uh, let me just show you the other side. There you go, that's what it looked like when I get the inside done and then I'm going to put a box in there as well. So there it is, wheel arch all done. Uh, I've not gone all the way up because from here is going to be where my kitchen starts and then I'm going to put a board down here and then I'll do the four-way stretch carpet on that as well so while I'm waiting for that four-way stretch carpet to turn up what I'm going to do next is start putting the battening up for the overhead cabinets around the bed area so I want to do that now before I put the bed frame in because that means I can uh, actually get in here without climbing all over it so I'm just going to go ahead and do that now and then I'll catch up with you once I've got the frame working Okay guys, I've done the, one of the first frames for the overhead cabinets or over the bed. 
So let's just go ahead and have a look at that. Okay, there's my first frame up, ready. Uh, obviously I've just got to board it all out and everything, but this is absolutely solid. It's not going anywhere. So next job is put the base in and look at making some doors. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now and I'll catch up with you in a minute. Okay guys, so I've finished the wall on the driver's side around the bed area now. Um, the only job I've got left to do around there now is to make the cupboard doors. So let me go ahead and show you what I've done. There you go guys, all that is all framed out now. Four way stretch carpet is put on. That cable that's hanging down here, that's going to be for an LED light that I'm tucking up behind here. Uh, I'll need to make some sort of frame to go around the window. Um, so yeah, that's not too bad. Um, I've actually done the frame of the uh, cupboard as well. So I'm just going to make some doors for that next. Um, but I'm not deciding what colour I'm going to do them in. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. And then once they're done, I'll give you a shout and show you what they're like. There you go guys, first set of doors made for the first cupboard, the first overhead cupboard. Not too bad, not too bad. What I've used is these soft closed hinges that you get for kitchen cupboards. Um, so if I just let go of them, they come down pretty quick and then they'll just slow down and don't slam. So there you go. So all I need to do now is get some sort of latches for them. I'm thinking like the button type where you just push it to open it and push it again locks them. I've now also got to decide what colour to paint them but I think I might leave that for the wife to, to decide because no doubt I'll get it wrong. Right guys because I've run out of materials to continue with some of this build I need to go to Wix to go and get some more uh, wood and some sheet ply. What I'm going to do this morning instead is I'm going to go down in the corner and uh, tidy up the electrics down the bottom uh, let me show you in the corner where I'm going to do that. So that's going to be down there. Uh, that's one of my leisure batteries there. I have got another one which I will be putting down as well. So in that corner there, just behind the wheel arch and the twin door is where I'm going to install all my electrics. So I'm just going to go ahead now and start uh, building that up and start putting some of the electrics in place ready. For connection.
Okay guys, so I've tidied up that electrics a bit, so let's go ahead and have a look. And there you go guys, I've not quite finished yet, I've yet to get the solar panels in. Um, as you can see I'm using a ring uh, system, so I will leave a link in the description for that. Um, basically it's a DC to DC charger and it's also my also regulates the solar power as well. Still I run to war. 